Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Grand Prix World and another part of our Sauber Let's Play. We are in the midst of Season 6 at the moment, uh, fresh off a 1-2 victory in Monaco. We are possibly counting the days down to when this team goes bankrupt. We're already um, hemorrhaging money <laughs> at the moment and we uh, need to make up 25 million for next season because uh, we are signing Mika Hakkinen and losing the Diniz dollars, which I know a few people are very angry about. But, I, you know, I didn't want to go through the rest of this series with the same driver lineup. I wanted to switch it up a bit, take a few risks and... You know, if we go bust, we go bust and, and we'll live and learn by those mistakes. Uh, we still have a, a decent amount of equity to sell in the team if we need to. Um, you can see the shares are fairly um, good. We can also take a loan as well, which uh, would keep us going for a little bit. Um, you know, we could even take it and then, uh, you know, have enough time to finish off the series before that'll be repaired um, I really don't know but we'll see we'll see what happens um, I'm hoping that we can go and win the championship this year so Benetton uh, has got a team sponsorship Damon Hill won another race uh, at the last Grand Prix also got pole position uh, Barrichello just missed the podium uh, finished in fourth uh, we have agreed a deal with Mobile uh, Williams have got a works deal with Ford and uh, we've yeah, well, miles behind Damon Hill in the championship. That's uh, the difficulty. Alexander Vogt will be going to Minardi. Uh, Emmanuel Collard will be going to Ferrari. Um, and lots of lots of signings uh, for sponsors. Uh, we did make a loss of eight hundred and fifty thousand at the last Grand Prix. Uh, we're ready to upgrade the car, which is awesome. Get rid of the testing ones. Uh, we've received a new and improved engine, TV airtime. Um, awesome. Okay, so Goodyear are prepared to sign the work deal now, which is good. Uh, okay. Everything looking good. Right. Uh, let's do some appointments then. So commercial wise, uh, nobody there, but we can headhunt. Mm, nobody of interest particularly. Uh, oh, we have got some designers, which will be good. And that's actually everybody. So we've now got a, a full department of designers, which is going to help us with the construction of next year's car awesome very good okay mechanics wise let's bring them in perfect okay everything sorted there right uh, let's move on to the Upgrades, so we can construct that upgrade there. Now we can move on to the model design of next year's car. Perfect. Um, let's work on the gearbox performance. And the 2003 chassis is ready to move to model design as well. Very good. So uh, we will get another upgrade in this episode. I think we might have another quadruple header today, actually. Just in the mood for it. Um, I don't. I think everything's maxed out now. Yeah, all of our tyres are maxed out. The fuel is maxed out, and the engine's maxed out. So uh, we don't need to worry about any sort of testing for that. So that means we can drastically reduce our testing program now probably even just go down to a hundred miles now um, yep yeah. stick them on 50% for each 
And that should be absolutely fine. Yep, perfect. Okay, so research purposes. Looking good. And now we can fix the cars up. And now that we've got the works deals in place and the, the main team sponsor, we can probably uh, reduce our workload on um, VIP stuff as well. That'll save us a, a decent amount of money. Let's get our spare parts quarter back up. But yeah, hopefully you're uh, enjoying the series so far. Um, I have noticed on the website where I got this game, um, the remastered version of the game, uh, there is a 2022 version in the works. So I think that's going to be an absolute crackerjack going forward. Uh, we've got better deals with Ferrari, which is good. Um, let's get... Oh, uh, yeah, this one. Let's get signed with them. Nice. And um, honestly, I think we can just take people off these now, keep them there till the end of the season, try and get those uh, guarantees in place. We do want to be controlling R and D. That is the the one thing we need to look at. We'll keep fifteen percent on that. Um, we've got five percent on the FedEx deal at the moment. Let's turn that to ten percent. Uh, Fiat are pretty close as well. Let's use a TV advantage for FedEx and see if we can get them going a bit. Um, good, yeah. We'll replace them with FedEx. Yep, that, that looks good to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just reduce that slightly. Yep, that's fine. Okay, then. Right, uh, on to the next Grand Prix. So, team orders already confirmed. Um, let's see how that does. Uh, we need the new spec. Of those, I'm going to put Barrichello back onto the hard tyres, I think. That's fine. Right, let's get into it then. Okay, so, uh, 31 degrees dry, with a high wind speed. Let's see how we get on in qualifying. Ooh, sixth and ninth. Not very good for Rubens Barrichello, but uh, Pedro Diniz within four tenths of Paul Sitter, Stefan Sarazin, who uh, pulls out all the stops to uh, beat Damon Hill. Mick Hackenden qualifies second ahead of Esteban Tuero. Uh, Eddie Irvine now qualifies Diniz in fifth, Panis seventh, Magnus in eighth, and Barrichello in ninth. Uh, very dry for race day, but it has cooled down somewhat. So. Barrichello is going to be one stop in because I do think that suits him a little bit better um, and Denis prefers the two stopper most definitely fresh tyres all round and that's Denis let's go for completely Yeah, one, four, and five. Here we go, then. Let's find out how we get on. Ooh, it's going to be a podium. How good a podium is it going to be? It's third place. That's Pedro Diniz again. Barrichello out of the Grand Prix. Mika Hakkinen wins the race ahead of Damon Hill in second. Diniz in third, only four seconds behind. Saras in fourth, Panas fifth, and Irvine in sixth. What happened to Barrichello? Engine failure once again. Real disappointment for Rubens this year, and it's not looking likely that we are going to go and get uh, a second consecutive championship win, which is a real shame. Oh, this is good. 
get these out of the way. Um, yeah, that's already full. Let's get ourselves some more engineers. Perfect. Okay, right. Uh, News-wise, uh, Denise is happy with third. Uh, anything interesting here? Oh, what was that? Fiat has pulled out of the deal with South. Oh, no. We were only one bar away from them. That's not good. Look at Badoa's going to Minardi. Um, yeah, that's a... It's a big problem. Anyway. Oh, we made a profit at the last Grand Prix. Well, well, well. That is very, very good to hear. The works deal has been signed. FedEx has increased its support. Uh, we do have a deal in place with FedEx. Okay, right. Um, yeah, that's in place. Nice. HSBC. Yeah, I'm just going to... I mean, that's a two-season deal, so that's actually worth fighting for. Um, let's see if we can get Alcatel as well. The next Grand Prix. Well, there's no point bringing Fiat anymore, is there? Fiat can sod off. Um, we'll bring HSBC instead. Uh, how are we doing in terms of our team sponsorship? Yep, closing in on some stuff. I've uh, already got a better fuel thing. But yeah, we are just going to have to keep going with that and, and hope for the best. Right, let's get our car upgraded. So the 2004 chassis is ready to move to the wind, wind tunnel stage. Efficiency looking very, very good. Um, our 2003 chassis is ready to move to there as well. Let's get that constructed. Let's get our clutch reliability up there as well. Driving aid wise, we're nearly there with the traction control. Okay. Right, testing wise, we'll just do the same again. Looked out nicely last time, so that was a hundred miles. Might even try and reduce that a little bit. Nah. It's just not working for us, isn't it? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, all of that's fine. Right, let's get ourselves repaired up. Shouldn't be too bad. I am going to make sure I save it as well because it does feel a little bit laggy at the moment. Let's get these spare parts made. But yeah, starting to make profit now, which is good. We definitely need that. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get a few more cash signings in. Before the end of the season. How are we actually looking with our car for next year? Sponsorship wise. So we're making 51 million this year. 48 million next year. As it stands. Um, we have got. We have got a few in there. We have got space for three more though. So. That's good. That's good. That's what we want. Okay. Right. Yeah, we are looking okay. I think we're looking all right. For now. Right. Okay. 
Um, next Grand Prix. Just going to give the, both the boys the same setup. Uh, just keep with that, that's fine. Uh, we have got this to copy. Very much doubt anything will happen with it. We could just construct it, that's the ridiculous thing. But we'd just end up getting caught out, wouldn't we? And getting disqualified. I'd, I just don't want that to happen. But we'll keep going nonetheless. Here we go for the British Grand Prix. Right, qualifying 17 degrees, so quite cold and overcast. Let's see how we get on. Fifth and sixth, very good uh, result. Only half a second off uh, Paul Sitter, Damon Hill. Sarah's in, in second there. Hacken in third, Twero fourth. We, we are fifth and sixth, as we say. Uh, 20 degrees and very dry for the race. Of course, a one stopper for Mr. Rubens Barrichello. And Mr. Denez will be going for his usual two stopper. Fresh boots all around for Mr. Barrichello. And Mr. Denez there. Heat cycled for the first run. No, we're actually going to go fresh boots all around. Let's see how we get on in the British Grand Prix. Again, it's another podium. Third again. And it's Denise again and Barrichello out. Once again, Mika Hakkinen wins the race. Sarazen in second. Denise third. Twero fourth. Panis fifth. And Magnussen in sixth. What happened with Barrichello? Electronic failure this time. Yeah, just reliability is going down the pan at this stage of the season. And that is a big problem for us. Uh, made a tiny loss at the last race. Uh, we are ready to upgrade the cars now, though, which is good. We've signed an agreement with FedEx, of course. Um, we've got a great deal with East. We can get that guaranteed. Even better terms with Goodyear and Ferrari and Mobile. Um, but progress on HSBC is not as good. Okay. Hmm, now then. Right, why don't I just go for 45% on race car security? And just try and get... Get this active suspension. Let's just do it. Let's take a few more risks in this series. Let's do it. It's done. It's done. That's what we like to see. Right, power brakes. Let's keep them going. We're well, going to try and cheat. <laughs> Although I'm not entirely sure that that active suspension will do anything for us, but we'll see. Uh, ooh, level 4 power brakes from Ferrari. So finally we can stalk somebody else's uh, setup now. So I'm going to turn that off race scrutiny. Put that on Ferrari. On their power brakes. We'll get them copied for the next Grand Prix. Uh, anyway, news wise, Hakkinen wins another race. Uh, anything else in here? That's interesting. Doesn't look like it. No, that's fine. Right, let's see if we can appoint anybody. Nobody there. Can get another. Couple of excellent and couple of very good. That's what you like to see. Perfect. Filled out that department nicely. 
Okay, fine, right. Let's move on then. So we should be ready. Ooh, nearly ready with that. But we are ready with the 2003 car. Perfect, 68% now. That's going to be good. Right, let's increase the reliability of our electronics. Uh, 20% driving aids, that's fine. Um, right, let's upgrade our technology and upgrade the 2003 car. Very good. Right, uh, we are also um, building our own wind tunnel. <laughs> oh, we've gone crazy, haven't we? We've gone crazy. Yeah, never mind. Uh, you know, you know what's gonna happen. We're we're gonna go bust, aren't we? But there's nothing we can do about it now. We just gotta commit. <laughs> right. Let's see if this is enough for us. Let's see. Hey, it is. Okay. Right, development testing has got the problem, so we'll again start work on our final upgrade of the season. That should take us into the 70s, which will be an excellent uh, performance car by the end of the season. Which will be good. Pass on the research now. Um, yeah, that's oof, so close. Just one bar off. That's fine. Right, let's get our cars sorted out. more repairs it's unbelievable really how many reliability issues we've had but this is the the nature of f1 back in 2003 you know it was a, a war of attrition really so let's keep going And then, let's see how our commercial deals are going. Probably not so well. Let's see then. Right, so East uh, are one away now. 30.2 million we're getting off them, which is very nice. Um, the engine deal, we are going to control the R&D. I haven't quite got there with the tyres yet, but we are controlling it for the fuel. Um, Alcatel, that looks good. HSBC, not going as well as you would have hoped. Um, let's get them... Well, they are along. Let's increase our hospitality for this weekend, just to try and speed those along a little bit. Anyway, on to the next Grand Prix. Let's make sure that we are in the best possible position here. Although that's fine. Oh, actually we want our new uh, driving aids on the car. And we're going to give it our best. No doubt we're going to be disqualified. Um, I don't know what that means. We'll give it a go. 
This is perhaps going to be the biggest mistake of the career mode so far. Well, fourth and seventh. Looks like we haven't been disqualified for anything just yet. So fourth and seventh. So Barrichello finishes two tenths behind Damon Hill this time. Um, and uh, this is in the upgraded car, of course. So uh, we have closed in a little bit. Denise down in seventh. 26 degrees and dry for your race today. Um, Damon Hill. Uh, Damon Hill. Ruben Sparacello, of course, is going to be on the one stop at. So we'll go 36 and then 35. Be slightly lighter towards the end of the Grand Prix. I'm going to go fresh boots all round. And then Pedro Diniz will be two stopping. Let's see how we get on. Hey, fourth and fifth. Very, very nice. Uh, a decent amount of points, of course. We'd love to be winning races, but I think McLaren are just too good now. Damon Hill... Uh, just ahead of Sarazin, Hakkinen finishes third, Barrichello fourth, and Denise in fifth. Uh, Barrichello still in third in the driver's standings. We are still third in the constructors. Very, very good. Right, uh, let's get these copied. Okay. Um, and we are just going to build them, is what we're going to do. Straight away, we are going to build them. Um... Okay, let's start work on the automatic gears again. 2004 chassis is complete. So we've now freed up our team. Go for 35% on the final upgrade of the season. That's all finished, which is good. Let's increase the reliability of the throttle. Thirty-five on that. I mean, to be fair, why don't we stick a load of guys on these? Because we only need about twenty percent on a technology upgrade. Maybe even less, to be honest with you. But yeah. Um, yeah, next year's car is going to be expensive to build. I think we probably want to build them sooner rather than later, just so that any money we've got left is ours. Let's get them all built now. So there you go. We've got our four cars for next season. So at the very least, we're going to be on the grid. Which is good. Um, testing wise, uh, yeah, move that up to thirty. I'm gonna try even less laps this time. We're gonna go down to eighty laps. Just trying to bring those costs right down. Yep, yeah, perfect. Yeah, pass on the research. Yeah, all looks good to me. Righty, all then. Um, let's uh, see the news. So, Damon Hill won the race. Sabah's happy to see that. Uh, Arrows have signed Jason Watt. Uh, Williams have got Stefan Sarazin. Very nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Uh, we've already got a full team there. This one we can add in. Uh, very good. Yeah, our cars should be. Oh, no, they're not. I haven't maintained them yet. Good job I looked at that. Mm. 
Okay, good. All right, spares. Got those belt. Of course, we're going to have made a humongous loss at this Grand Prix, probably in the, the tune of about 3 million, but now we should be able to keep going. Do some good stuff. Right, we did make a small loss at the last Grand Prix. Okay, uh, new driving aids. Um, TV advantage. What have we got? Oh, we got a race advantage as well. Better terms with Goodyear, FedEx. Alcatel, we've made good pro progress with HSBC. Okay, awesome. Right. Let's see how we're getting on then. So HSBC, that is going well. Let's uh, use our advantage on that and then TV advantage on the Alcatel deal. Yeah, these are very, very close. Very, very close now. Awesome. Right, final. Uh, oh, no. we. Uh, how many have we done? We've done the French. Yeah. No. Well, uh, this will be the final one of the episode. So let's get into it. Confirm those orders. Let's get ourselves... Some extra speed, very good. Okay, get that in there. We've got to try and go for any advantage possible now. Um, right, let's just see what driving aids we got. Yeah, I don't think there's... Anything else that we'd want? No. So let's stick it all on security to make sure that our car cannot be copied. Right, here we go then. Into the uh, qualifying we go. 25 degrees, very dry. Let's see how we get on in qualifying. Fifth and sixth, not too bad. Uh, Pedro Diniz, our qualifying Rubens Barrichello. Damon Hill once again on pole position. Hacken in second, Saracen for third, with Tuero in fourth. Uh, dropped a little bit in temperature for the race. Rubens Barrichello, of course, will be one stop in this one. So he's going to go 23 and then 22. On the return to home. Very good. Oh. Hang on. Yep. Fresh boots. Let's see how we get on in the race. It's going to be a podium. Ooh, second place. Rubens Barrichello finishes second with Deniz in fourth in the end. Another massive bank of points for us. Uh, only eight seconds behind race winner Hakkinen in the end. Tuero finishes in third, just a tenth of a second ahead of Deniz. Saras in fifth and Magnussen in sixth. What happened to Damon Hill? Uh, driver error, so... Bit of a mistake from him. Uh, only three points in the championship now between Hakkinen and Damon Hill. Rubens Barrichello on 38. Uh, Denez drops down to fifth position in the championship. Uh, we are still third as it stands. But uh, there you have it then. It looks like we are managing to hold on to our position. Two and a half uh, million pound lost there. But you can see our money did actually go up at the end of the episode. Um, you know what? Why don't we have uh, five races in this episode? I know that's a lot, but uh, let's keep going. I've got the bug. I've got the bug. Um, 
we'll have a bit of a, an extra long episode. Um. <gasps> HSBC is signed with Jordan. That is um, that is hugely disappointing. We have got a guarantee with East though. Um. Oh. We have a deal with Alcatel. That's good. Um. Yeah, we're gonna have to sort that out now. Right, get rid of the trainees, bring in some excellent engineers, that's fine. Right, okie dokie then. Um, all right, let's go to the commercial zone. Cash sponsor Alcatel. Um, let's get them signed up. A, sp a spray, I guess. That's what we're going to do. We'll put 10% on them. Uh, east, we can take everybody off that now. Um, go 5% on Computer Associates. 5% on Fond Metal. And 5% on S. Oliver. Okay. We only need to sign one of them up, I think. No, two of them. Two of them we need to sign up. Right. Um, who is going to come with us to the next Grand Prix? We are going to bring a, sp a spray. Yeah, we don't need East anymore. We'll bring Mobile. We can't take a... a a spray. That's Oliver and Computer Associates. Yep, yeah, that looks good. So bring them along as our guests of honour. Gonna reduce that right down to try and save some money. Um, we might as well go and upgrade the car. So yeah, that's all sorted. That's ready to move on to the next stage of development. Technology wise, that's ready to move on. Right, let's increase the performance of our clutch. Just these small little gains now and again. Right, we are going to construct that. Um, now, what do we want to go for? Level 5 traction control. Let's do it. Let's get it all sorted out. Yeah, that's all good. Pass the research on. Let's get these upgraded. I'd love to win a race by the end of the episode. That's the plan. Now, touch wood, we haven't actually had a retirement in the last couple of Grand Prix, so I'm hoping that with our upgrade, we've actually stumbled across a more reliable car. Should be good. Yep, still going with our spare parts, of course. Sorted. Sorted, sorted, sorted. Right. All of that's done. Okay. Let's move on to the Hungarian Grand Prix. Um, just like Monaco, I'm going to actually put everything on overtaking. Just in case. I don't know. We'll see. Right, let's pop those onto the car. Of course, uh, it is very risky having all of those on, which is why we're beefing up our security to the max 
We'll see how that gets on. Let's get into the Hungarian Grand Prix. I am proper stressed that we are going to get disqualified. Uh, 29 degrees, very dry for your qualifying session today. Fourth and fifth, very good. Uh, three tenths behind Damon Hill. Uh, Deniz, four tenths behind. Uh, Hakkinen qualifies second. Tuero, third. Magnussen, sixth. Saracen, seventh. Monterimini, eighth. Panis, ninth. And Irvine in tenth place. Uh, it's warmed up a little bit for the Grand Prix. Let's see what Rubens Barrichello can pull off with his one stopper today. It's going to be tough on those hard tyres. It's going to go 37 and then 40. Bring him in a little bit early, try and get that undercut. Um, Denise, a little bit shorter. Brush boots all round, let's see how we get on. It's another podium. Second place once again, second and fifth this time. It's Esteban Tuero that wins the Grand Prix for Ferrari. Uh, Barrichello finishes second there. Damon Hill finishes third for McLaren. Hakkinen fourth with Deniz in fifth. So it's starting to look like that the hard tyres are, are definitely um, doing the job. But uh, Damon Hill still leads the driver's standings. Four points ahead of Hakkinen, who's 22 ahead of Barrichello. Tuero fourth now with Deniz in fifth. We are still in third position. But uh, there you go. I think that is where we're going to leave it for today's episode. Um, yeah, we'll just have a quick look at the news. Oh, for goodness sake, Asprey and Fundamental. Oh, deary me. Deary me. Yeah. We are we're we're gonna we're gonna struggle, but it looks like we um only made a small loss at the last Grand Prix, so a little tiny uh, adjustments are helping out and and saving us costs. But we have got an absolute cracker of an episode coming next time out as we are looking to finish out this season um rubens barrichello still looking to try and win the drivers championship pedro denise looking to finish off the air in style uh, before mika hakkinen takes over next year and uh, we're looking to just improve ourselves little by little and keep our fingers crossed that we can win this championship and come out of nowhere once again because we can do it if we can you know with the next upgrade if we can start taking pole positions and race victories one twos you know we're we're gonna come right back into it roaring back in all the way to the end but uh we will find out all of that in the next episode so if you have enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more uh f1 content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye